Hi guys, welcome to the very first episode of Walt's Reviews. The point of this review channel is to go down the deep rabbit hole of way too much research and give that to you as quickly and efficiently as possible in a video so that you don't have to waste your time going through all that or at least can start at a further place down the road than where I always start at the very beginning. So without further ado, here's the very first episode. Today we're going to cover golf grips. The videos I found on YouTube mainly just kind of promoting one brand. I'm like, hey, I'm going to try them all. I'm going to see how they feel and see which one I like the most. Because pretty much consistently, most people are saying, hey, it's all about feel. It's all about personal preference and what you like. The research I found, if you wear a small glove, you need to be in a standard size. That was pretty consistent. There was one outlier, so I decided to try all the different grips in a standard size. And I noticed that they, I played them all similar. There's definitely some pros and cons and differences, but the grip that stood out when I got everything in a standard size that really changed my swing and had the biggest impact, the biggest difference, was this MCC Plus 4. And what's different about this grip relative to all the others that are standard size is the way that it tapers. It's fatter on the bottom, which is different than all the standard grips I tried. And what I found that did is it changed my consistency and my swing more than all the other grips, which makes sense. I'm assuming it's a little bit heavier and just the, the bigger diameter in the bottom hand really changed my swing and I actually liked it which led me to try something else. I'm like, hey, I did all standard. I like the one that had a fatter feel on the bottom. So I tried one mid-size grip. In hindsight, if I could do it over, I would have, I would have done it differently. Uh, what I would have done is tried different sizes of the same grip and then figure out which grip I like the most. Now, I'm going to be testing a bunch of different mid-size grips. So I'll get back to that point in a minute, but for right now, I'm just gonna go over the differences in the grips that I found. This is a Golf Pride Z Grip, and you know, it's pretty rough on the hands. It's very good feel. You're gonna feel a lot of your club, but I'm sure it plays well in the rain, but it hurts the hands a little bit versus this is a Golf Pride Tour Velvet, which is probably one of the most, if not the most popular grip. And it's all around, grip that's going to play well in rain and non-rain. I learned on this dry tech win and it's a great grip. It's very soft in the hands, it has a little bit of cushion and you still get a lot of feel. They do wear out quicker is what I hear. This is also a dry tech win. This one feels a little bit more tacky, a little bit softer. This one, a little less tacky, a little firmer. Other than that, they play the exact same to me. I like them both. This is the Iomic 2.3. It's a rubber grip. It's great, has a lot of feel. It is a little bit easier on the hands compared to the Z grip or this cross line. I did like this grip. I have a bunch of black grips next to here, but you can see it got dirty really quickly. And I'm not sure if that's because I'm putting it in a bag with other black grips. So if they're all white, maybe that wouldn't happen. But I suspect regardless, if you're gonna go with white grips, you're gonna be washing them a lot or they're just not gonna have that nice white clean look. Golf Pride makes a couple multi-compound grips. This is their new decade. This still has that coarse feel to it, especially on your glove hand, but on the hand that doesn't, it's more of a rubbery feel, but still has the texture so that you have gripping power, but it also almost feels like the texture provides a little bit of give so that it's just more comfortable in my opinion. So this was the grip that changed a few things. It's also Golf Pride. It is their MCC Plus 4. And what's different about this grip relative to all the others that are standard size is the way that it tapers. It doesn't get as small in the bottom and that made the biggest difference. This one actually did kind of change a few things for me. Um, I did feel like I was more consistent with this grip on. This is a Champ Key multi-compound. I guess it's kind of their ver version of their Golf Pride multi-compound. It's the MCS mid-size and I was really, really surprised by found here. I thought that this would not work. You know, it's gonna make my club face be open. I'm not gonna be able to close it over and it's going to feel really weird and just not be a good club. But I actually liked it more than all the other ones. This is the Lambkin Cross Line. I believe it's a very popular grip and I can see why it's good. It's got that rubber feel. It it's got enough texture to provide some grip, but it's not as coarse as this Z grip. And it's a good grip. It's definitely a little bit more coarse than the next two grips. This is a Lambkin Real R.E.L Ace. 
and it's basically rubber. It doesn't have the coarseness that this one does, and it's a little bit more forgiving on the hands, a little bit softer, but still extremely firm. And I like this one, it's great grip. This Kamara is actually a little bit softer than the Lambkin. These two rubber grips gave the most give and most comfort in the hand, I guess, most squishiness. I would say this one's a little bit more tacky, the Kamara. This one definitely has more depth in their grooves, which I think provides a little bit more stability, where this one could be a little bit slippery. And they're all good grips. So for my first round of different styles that I tried in the standard size, pulling the mid size out, these are in order from my favorite to my least favorite. And then all of these are very similar in that they're pretty stiff rubber. And the biggest difference I would say is how much give the rubber has, as well as how much texture the rubber has, which creates like a coarseness and gives you traction on your grip. This was the most coarse. This was the least coarse. This one, I'm sure, would give me blisters the way I like hold the club and stuff. And this one's kind of smooth and doesn't have a lot of traction to it. This would be kind of in the middle. And then these just have some pretty deep grooves. This one was a little bit more traction than this blue one. And then I just really like the Tour Velvet because it had enough traction, was still soft enough rubber in my hand, and it was just my favorite out of that category. So that's why I put them in that. In terms of uh, feedback, you know, all these probably provide the most feedback, then the multi-compound, then this guy. And again, this is just me personal preference. When it came to comfort, these were the most comfort. These were the second. These were the least. And for me, that's why I put these first because when it came to feedback as well as comfort, they were a good compromise and provided both of those for me. But these are comfortable, but it didn't give me the feedback I wanted. And these gave me the feedback I wanted, but they weren't like the comfort that I wanted on my hand. So this was the perfect blend of comfort and feedback. And that's why for me, that's what I chose. And I think that's what they're designed to do with the multi-compound. So the next go around, I'm gonna be trying all mid-size because that felt best for me and see how that goes. So after trying a bunch in the standard, I realized what I liked and what I didn't like. And so when I jumped up to the mid-size and did another round, I decided to try grips that I hadn't really tried before. And since the multi-compound was my favorite and I already had one of those in the mid-size, I tried another one where it got a little bit fatter at the bottom of that MC C plus four. So this is a traditional wrap style. This is kind of it's got the wrap on the top. I guess it goes all the way through, but it's a little bit different than your traditional wrap in the way it plays. It's the CP2 wrap from Golf Pride. Um, they play similar. This one had a little bit more tackiness, a little bit more grip. This one was more like a, mm, a little bit less tacky, a little harder. Very similar though. And then uh, I also tried their CP2 Pro, which was not a wrap style or it's just, you know, rubber. And you know, it's soft, comfortable, real tacky. It's really good on the hands. You, you get a good grip on it. And I did like those, but still the multi-compound was my favorite. I spent a lot of time going back and forth between these two to figure out which one I liked the most. And to be honest, I really liked both of them. I ended up liking traditional, where it does actually taper in the mid-size multi-compound grip. And this ended up being my favorite one. And so I bought a set of these and we'll put it on my clubs. This one was excellent as well. Just the, the extra fatness in the bottom of the hand, but the mid-size just wasn't perfect for me. Big thing was it's rubber down here, and it was just a little bit too squishy at the bottom. I wanted a little bit more firmness, which is again, this is all personal preference, so I definitely encourage you to get out there and try it yourself. Don't make the same mistake I did. What I would start out with is trying different sizes. I would try jumbo, mid-size, standard, see which one you like, and then from there go on to try different styles of grip. If I could do it over, that's how I would have redone it. But for me, my personal favorite is the multi-compound mid-size grip. And this one is actually from Champkey. This is the one I'm going with, and this is my favorite grip.